Hello, drone friends. This is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning. Welcome to our drone weekly news roundup. I have three stories to share with you this week, but before I jump in, we are offering $100 off our online test prep course over at dronepilotgroundschool.com. So if you are a drone pilot or not yet flying, but maybe looking to get your FAA license to fly for commercial purposes, uh, check it out. You can find more information in the description below. Okay, let's get to the stories. A fun new Cinewoot video was released of a backstage tour of the TV show The View. And boy oh boy am I impressed by this drone pilot's flight skills. As you can see, the drone glides over people in costume waiting for their cue, then slides behind the set, passing through a banter-filled break room. It then spirals through a large props and costume storage area and a series of offices, then ends with a perfectly timed entrance onto the stage just as the show is starting. And of course, the drone lands directly in front of Whoopi Goldberg, who promptly knocks it right out of the air. These FPV fly-through videos have become highly popular when showing off a space or an event. We recommend you watch the full video with sound, which we'll link to below. Next up, four months after announcing the launch of its Pixie selfie drone, Snap has decided to stop production. We first reported this launch back in May. Uh, the Pixie seemed like the perfect complement to Snapchat. It required uh, no piloting skills. You could capture quick aerial shots that were perfect for social media. Uh, it was priced at $250, which felt a little steep for a toy drone with limited capabilities. In a recent Q&A, the CEO of Snap, Evan Spiegel, said that initial sales had been disappointing for Pixie. Uh, this is Snap's second failed attempt at making camera-adjacent hardware. Uh, if you remember back in 2017, they launched a sunglasses camera product called Spectacles, which didn't really take off either. We didn't hear too much about the Pixie after it was announced, so this isn't too surprising for us drone enthusiasts. Okay, lastly, new firmware updates for the DJI Mini 3 Pro are making owners of this newer model very happy. One update fixes stability issues that a handful have complained about with its hyperlapse mode. Another update makes the Mini 3 Pro compatible with the RC Pro remote controller, which is an upgrade that's been anticipated for a while now. Uh, do note that if you do have that RC Pro, you're gonna need to update the firmware on that as well to make it compatible with the Mini 3 Pro. Finally, the new firmware improves the potential image quality you can get for panorama shots by increasing the camera tilt angle range. So if you have a Mini 3 Pro uh, or frankly any other drone that requires firmware updates, uh, make sure you're staying on top of those because very often you're getting uh, improvements uh, or additional features uh, on, on your drone. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, wishing all you drone pilots out there blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you next week.